What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing our tear on the rank regulation F ladder, but this time using a solar power Charizard team. Now Charizard is a fan favorite. I love Charizard and I love using it in Scarlet and Violet. And today we're pairing it up with Helping Hand Torkoal to make it do some big time crazy damage. Charizard is over here rocking solar power as his ability, giving it a damage boost in the sun, alongside with the Cobra Cloak. It's definitely an odd item choice for Charizard, but it's going to probably work really well due to all the fake out users such as Rillaboom, Incineroar, cannot wait for a Pokemon to actually fake out this Charizard, realize it's Cobra Cloak, and then this thing just gets off some big time damage. Charizard's got Heat Wave, it also has Weather Ball, Scorching Sands, and Protect. Loving this moveset, especially with the Ground Terror type, helping Scorching Sands do a big time damage. Other Pokemon on today's team features Raging Bolt and Primarina. Raging Bolt, I love this Pokemon. New Pokemon added from the DLC. I forget what it's called. The Iron Crown? No, it's not the Iron Crown. I don't even know what it's called. I totally am drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. But we have Raging Bolt on today's team. Protosynthesis, Assault Vest with Thunderclap, Volt Switch, Dragon Pulse, and Snarl. Primarina is over here rocking Haze. Great move to actually take away stat changes on the field. And it has the third spray to get that special attack boost. Final three Pokemon on today's team, like we already mentioned, we got a nice little support Torkoal, and we got Urshifu with Choice Scarf, Dark and Fighting Urshifu, and last but not least, we got Pheasantipity, Toxic Chain, and Leftovers with Icy Wind, Toxic, Roost, and Tailwind. So this Pokemon can put up some poisons with its ability, or the move Toxic, and pretty much stall out the battle with Roost. Gotta love it. Guys, you wanna rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match, showcasing Charizard in ranked Regulation F. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Politoed and Archiludon ranked. They got Moongus, they also have Thunderous, then they're rocking out with Hydreigon and Incineroar. So I kind of want to lead Charizard maybe, but they could lead Politoed, they could bring Incineroar in here, and actually Incineroar would be fine with Charizard, so I'm gonna end up leading the Charizard. We do have Weather Ball, which could work rather well in the rain, especially up against like Incineroar, but I like having Charizard and maybe just bringing Torkoal in the back end so we can swap in case they want to lead a Pokemon like Politoed here. So I'm gonna go Charizard, I am gonna also go in with probably like Pheasantipity, try to put some poisons, oh we can't get poison onto Archiludon because it is Steel type. That's tough man. I would love to just poison that Pokemon and get after that, but I kind of like this and then go in Torkoal and Urshifu in the back end. I mean, I can get poisons on the other Pokemon, which could be rather well for us. I like it. I definitely like it. So that's going to be the squad that we're bringing in here. We definitely need a few special attackers and a crit user, such as Urshifu, to try to get rid of this Archiludon, because Archiludon is just a massive threat, right? It really is just a massive threat, especially in the rain, dropping Electro Shots, all that good stuff. But we do have Ground Terror type with Charizard. Which could be good if we can read a nice little Electro Shot going into that slot. We can just block it. But they're going to go Incineroar and Amoongus. That's kind of fine. I wonder who they're going to fake out. This is a real question. Kind of hoping it's Charizard because I got the Cobra Cloak. I do have the Cobra Cloak. So from here, I'm just going to go into <clears throat> a nice lovely Heat Wave. And on top of that, probably just throw an Icy Wind. <clears throat> Slow them both down. <coughs> Excuse me, slow them both down and have a shot at having a poison with Toxic Chain. So that's gonna be my play right here. Moongus could potentially put me to sleep. I hope Fake Out goes into Charizard, and it does. Covert Cloak Charizard coming at you in full action. Heat Wave going to miss on the Instant Roar, which is fine. We just need to land on the Moongus doing some big damage, and we do get a burn onto a Moongus. Nice little burn onto the Moongus. So Moongus probably trying to put maybe Charizard to sleep. And we got a poison onto Incineroar. Roar, a little Toxic Chain action. A little toxic chain action. Can we get a little toxic chain action? No, we don't. So, I think Incineroar's Covert Cloak as well. <clears throat> it didn't just take a speed drop there. That's kind of odd. That is kind of odd. Incineroar did not take a speed drop there, right? Yeah, you're Covert Cloaked. You little booger. This dude's Covert Cloak. So, we got a Covert Cloak Incineroar chilling on the field. Better than Citrus Berry. I don't really like dealing with Citrus Berry. Um... I could hard swap into maybe Torkoal here and then pop a Scorching Sands if I want to. That is definitely an option. And that is going to be my play because I think he may just like U turn out of here. So I'm going to hard swap into Torkoal. Go for a Terra Ground here. And we're going to look to do some big time damage onto Incineroar. It's going to be super effective, which is great, which is beautiful. 
but I don't think it's going to KO just because of how bulky Incineroar is. And he just withdraws. So you going in? There's no way you read that and you're going to go into Polytoon. You do that. That's crazy. You just did that. You just did that. They just did that. That's that's a little absurd. That's a little absurd. So they could put my Charizard to sleep, which would be a big time problem. And I really hope not, right? I hope they kind of just like protect the Moongus something at this point. They just read that. Yeah, you're going to put my Charizard to sleep, which is bad news. Real bad news. Scorching Sand's going to do minimal damage. Nothing crazy. And Spore's going to fly into my Charizard. So you're just going to Spore spam me? Is that your play? Is that your play? Now you're just going to attack my Charizard and probably KO it with like a, with like a I don't even know, a water move? Does Polytoad learn, learn Scald in this game? Maybe not. But Amoonga's going to get chunked up a little bit. Nice solid damage. Polytoad's got the leftovers. And we're going to have to swap the Torkoal. So in this case, I'm just gonna keep spamming Scorching Sands. Um, I'm gonna swap back into Fezzedipity. I'm, I'm asleep, but I, I need to wake up. I need to wake up. So we're just gonna go into Fezzedipity. Fezzedipity's pretty bulky, which is solid here. And we'll see how this one plays out. We shall see how this one plays out. So both my Pokemon going to be slumped. You might be sporing a Torkoal. No, you go for an Earth Power. Polytoad's ripping Earth Power. And there's a spore. So we get to dodge a turn there. Um, I'm already asleep. We want to swap the rain. I'm surprised he didn't go for a water move. Anyway. Um, I could read him swapping Polytoad here, to be honest. I could read him swapping Polytoad. Might be my best bet, considering we just swapped that Torkoal. Burn's going to chip up some damage onto Amoongus, which we like. And from here, you have to have Arch Dude on or Incineroar in that slot. So I'm going to go Scorching Sands, and I'm just going to go for an Icy Wind. So, yep, there's a withdrawal Polytoad, and like I said, it's either Incineroar or Arch Ludon. No, it's Hydreigon. Really? Really? Luckily, he's not flying type. That's really odd. And who wakes up here? Who just woke up? It's gonna be Charizard. Charizard with the wake up. Oh, but you do have Levitate. I forgot about Levitate. So, Levitate comes out here. If you put my Charizard back to sleep, I'm honestly gonna be a little upset. I'm honestly gonna be a little upset. Are you kidding me? What am I going up against here? This should be illegal. This should be illegal. This should honestly be illegal. Burn's slowly chipping up, which is good. Burn is slowly chipping up. So once this Amoongus goes out here, we can be sitting in a rather solid position. But it's just like, dude, you're going to spore every turn? That's, that's your fourth spore. That's your fourth spore. That's your fourth spore. Now, where I'm sitting right now, I don't mind. I don't mind. So I'm going to let Charizard try to wake up here. I'm going to let Charizard try to wake up here. So we're just going to go Icy Wind. On top of that, he's going to Terrasalize. So Amoogus just spawned. All my Pokemon are asleep pretty much, except for my back end Pokemon. But come on, man. I've barely been able to get off a turn in this matchup. But they're going to go in with the Fairy Terra type. Fairy Terra, Terra Blast, maybe? I don't mind the Fairy Terra type. And of course, my Fezzedipity is still slumped. Actually, that's my Charizard. Fezzedipity, you should wake up here. He's got a nasty plot. We don't like that. We do not like that. We simply do not like that. And I'm still asleep. This is crazy. This is crazy. Well, let me guess. You're spawn again? Look, what is this? What is this? Who plays like this? Let me spawn 15 times? Getting a little out of hand. It's definitely getting a little out of hand. It's definitely getting a little out of hand. Um, Charizard, I don't even know how long he's been asleep. That was one turn? Yeah, that's one turn. I can't risk. I was going to hard swap into maybe Torkoal and then try to go for a Heat Wave, but I can't risk that. I simply just can't risk that. So I guess we could go for Weather Ball. You might swap. You might swap a Moongus here. I'm not even going to lie, but I'm just going to go Icy Wind and Weather Ball. So we apply. Yeah, there's the swap of a Moongus into Incineroar. Yep, Incineroar comes out here. So now they get regenerated to get back some HP, which is so annoying. I can't even, like, get off attacks on anybody. And I'm still asleep. This is crazy. This is crazy, guys. And he's gonna go for a Snarl. Which actually does ridiculous amount of damage after Nancy Plot. And he can fake out Fezzedipity this turn. And Fezzedipity's gonna wake up, which is pretty nice. So Fezzedipity wakes up, um... Let's have play here, because we do slow them down. 
We just slow them down, and we get the Toxic Chain. Huge. Nice little poison onto Hydreigon. Can we get one onto Incineroar? No. Rain's gone. Um, we could swap into maybe... We could maybe just swap into what's called... Into Torkoal here, because if he's going to fake out anybody, it's going to be Fezzidipity. Right? If he's going to fake out anybody, it is going to be Fezzidipity. So I'm down to just... Do I pop a Heat Wave? I know minus one. Yeah, that's going to be my play. I'm going to bring out Torkoal. They could bring out Polyto, which would be crazy. It would be crazy, but I think they go for Fake Out and they keep their Hydrogen out to the field, right? Definitely their best bet. I'm going to swap Torkoal in here. There's no way they go two for two with reading my reading my swaps. Cool, and Charizard's going to wake up here. That's big time. Heat Wave's going to connect. I don't know how much damage it's going to do. Brings Hydrogen down to one, which is... Which was great, but of course you have a berry! This match is just... Terrible for me. This match is just so ugly. Snarl is gonna fly here. Who's dodging this? Torkoal, can you dodge it? It's just, just nothing's going my way. You got double Snarl. Who's dodging this one? Probably Charizard again. Miss Charizard again. I'll take another turn with Charizard. Not even gonna lie, I will take another turn with Charizard. This is gonna chip up some damage. Next turn, he's gonna die out. And from here, we could just go for a Scorching Sands. And hope that Toxic actually KOs it. So I can swap maybe into Fezzendipity here or Urshifu. I kind of like Urshifu, especially if they're just going for Snarls. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap into Urshifu here. I'm going to pull the Torkoal back. They could end up swapping into Politoed. Which wouldn't be bad, but who would you swap? Mm, you would swap Incineroar for Politoed, right? No, you stay in here. So Scorching Sands. Going to be able to come across here. Only at minus one, and KO and Cinnabar. So we right back in this. We are right back in this. We're hoping another Snarl is flying. And it is. Cool. So Charizard's going to die out to the Snarl. Urshifu's on the field. Urshifu is on the field. And I am Choice Scarf Urshifu, which is massive. And hopefully this Toxic Poison KOs this Hydreigon. That'd be massive. Can we say bye-bye to you? We do say bye-bye to you. Okay, so we here, after being asleep for probably 10 plus turns, right? Probably 10 plus turns. I've seen them use, what was it, five spores in a row? Maybe six? We have a shot at winning this match. So now I get to bring out Fezzendipity. And if I want to change up weather, I can. I can change up weather, but we are Choice Scarf, which is gorgeous. I can just drop a Wicked Blow if I want to. And that might be my best bet. Maybe just Toxic to Politoed. And go for a Wicked Blow into Amoongus, because Amoongus could protect- Oh, you don't have Regenerator. You do not have Regenerator. In case you want to go for Rage Powder, honestly, we're just going to go for Toxic here. Just put the Poison on you, and then just go for Choice into a Wicked Blow here. That's how I play all day long. Wicked Blow flying here. Amoongus, get on out of here. We're not allowing this thing to survive and get another turn. He put me to sleep way too many times, just to lose this match. Just to lose this match. Embarrassing. Toxic's landing. We throw the poison onto that. I can stall this match 1v1 with Fezzidipity all day. I can start roosting if I want to. This match is over. Politoed's gonna go for an Encore. Thank you very much. Going for an Encore. What do you think I was going for? I have all the attacking moves in the book. Everything in the book, and that is game, set, match. So thank you for putting me to sleep five turns. You lost the battle. That's crazy, right? How, like, that's one of the most times I've seen Spore used in a row. That was five or six. That was absurd. And then once they got low enough, HP, they're like, nah, we out of here. I thought they had Regenerator, but I guess they didn't. But from here, I guess we'll go for a Roost. I don't even know. I can't really do any damage to this thing. And a Wicked Blow. But they should just cancel. No, they're gonna stay in here and waste my time. Just a bit more, they're gonna waste my time. Roost coming out here. We'll go back up to full HP. And like I said, I can stall out this match if I really want to with, uh, with poisons, but this guy's just hanging around dropping a bunch of encores. Get out of here. Get on out of here. Match number one going to me. Match number one going to me. So it could protect if it wants to. It doesn't even matter because Wicked Blow is going to hit throw it, and that's going to be game. So I'm just going to spam A, hit Roost again, hit Wicked Blow, and that is Night Night. That is Night Night. Finally, the battle is canceled. What a hot start for us going to sleep over four or five times, but ended up winning the match. We love it. We love to see. But we're going up against an Incineroar and Rillaboom team, and honestly, I love the Charizard lead here. Unless they lead Tornadus, that could be a little rough, because I would love to just go Charizard into Torkoal here. 
potentially drop a helping hand go for heat waves but there is a hot shot that they do potentially just lead like Fornatus, making me kind of want to leave Fezzidipity. right is that what i want to do just go Fezzidipity and charizard kind of the same lead as last time because they're posing the same threat right where they can lead Tornadus, they can lead their fake out users i think charizard is an absolute must to bring here but the real question is do i lead lead it with torkoal or do i lead it with Fezzidipity? I think we're gonna go out on limb here, try to go for Torkoal, but I'm probably gonna get this call wrong. So, it's whatever. I could bring Primarina in the back end. Primarina's not bad. It does have Grass Terror type with Moonblast and Haze. Could be pretty good. Um, I like Urshfu, so we're definitely gonna bring Urshfu. And then our final Pokemon. Is it gonna be Primarina? I like Primarina just without the sun, right? Just without the sun. I could go Raging Bolt, which isn't too bad, especially with this moveset. Bolt Switch Thunderclap, yeah, I like that. So we're gonna go Raging Bolt. Final slot, the Raging Bolt coming in here. The Raging Bolt. So let's see who they wanna lead here. Hopefully, again, fingers crossed, no Tornadas. Because if they lead, say, a fake out user, chances are they're gonna go after Charizard. They're gonna be like, hey, let me fake out this Charizard. And then on top of that, I got the Covert Call, which is just so big. I think we used it in the last match. Yeah, they were just like, let's fake out the Charizard. And I was like, nah, you ain't flinching me. We got the Covert Cloak. But they're in Cinnawar had Covert Cloak too. And of course, they end up going Tornadas here. The Tornadus gonna come out here. Um, do we think they set a rain dance? Most likely, right? Most likely, a rain dance comes out here. Um, do I still pop a heat wave? I think I still go for a heat wave here. Could go for clear smog. Clear smog is really not gonna do much, but I'm gonna go heat wave. I'm gonna try to pull off helping hand. Helping hand heat wave. Let's see what they end up doing. They want to see a Terra come out here right off the rip. Are they going to go for the tail? What they got cooking? What are you going to do here? They're going to go into a nice little fire Terra. Yeah, they're definitely popping rain dance. That should have just swapped Torkoal. I don't know what I was thinking. Should have been a swap Torkoal play all day. They're not faking out. Are you going for rain dance? They are going for rain dance. They should have swapped Torkoal. That was a swap Torkoal play all day. What the helping hand? How much can Heat Wave do? bad not bad and you're rocking high horsepower and it takes a big time damage to that but honestly what they don't know is i'm rocking weather ball what they don't know is jeans is rocking weather ball do not know that jeans is rocking weather ball um man this is actually tough this is actually tough i might just stay in here with twerkle not even gonna lie i might just stay in here with twerkle and the reason I say that is, I don't want to swap into Raging Bolt and have him high horsepower me and just take me out. That's a problem, right? And then I don't want to swap into Urshfu because there's a chance that they go for Bleak Wind Storm this turn. So, you know what? I'm just going to go Helping Hand. And I'm going to go for Weather Ball here. You withdraw Rolling. Who does that? Who does that? And Raging Bolt's going to come out here. The Raging Bolt's going to end up flying out here. Not that big of a deal. I do have Weather Ball. Eh, it's going to do any amount of damage probably nothing crazy bleak wind storm does fly so that's exactly why we didn't want to swap into into the urshifu and i do get to eat up a berry so torkoal is going to be able to eat up a berry a little bit maybe make it survive one more turn which is pretty big and weather ball is going to fly into raging Bull. so they haven't popped the tail one. i don't think there's really a need to pop a tail one, and they're just kind of countering me right now i made a bad play bad lead here should have swapped the Torkoal earlier, and I can't really swap out now. Actually, I can swap into my Raging Bolt and just protect. Yeah, it's going to be my play. That is going to be my play. So we're going to protect Charizard. We're going to finally get that Torkoal out of here. And this Tornadus, we have to just start figuring out ways to kind of get rid of it. I mean, Thunderclap could work good. Thunderbolt, not bad. And let's see what they want to do here. Bleak Wind Storm. They're going to go for a Tailwind. Tailwind Thunderbolt maybe to Charizard. Look to get rid of it. I don't know. Thunder. Ooh, Thunder. That's scary. Now that's scary. <laughs> a little bit of Thunder. A little bit of Thunder. So we could Thunderclap. Um, I could Hard Slap back into Twirkle here. If I want to. That is an option. I definitely want to go for a... Mm, do I want to go for Thunderclap? I think I'd rather Volt Switch. Do you think Volt Switch can KO? I really hope so. That's my problem. I really want Volt Switch to KO. I could actually do this. You know what? Because I don't think Bleak Wind Storm's going to KO me. 
I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna terrestrialize my Charizard into ground. Try to Volt Switch Pivot into Torkoal and KO this Tornadus at the same time. I get that they have speed right now, but chances are they're going for an electric move into this slot, into the Charizard slot. And Tornadus ends up protecting, which is kind of smart. You gotta be going for Thunder. You have to be going for Thunder. Draco Meteor into who? I'm dodging it. I'm dodging it. Scorching Sand's flying. It's flying here. How much damage are we doing? Not bad. Not bad. I could end up protecting you again. I could maybe double protect. What do I do here? What do I do? What do I do? Because now they got me on the fence. Now they definitely got me on the fence. Especially since I just wasted my terror. Hmm. I don't know what I do. I have Vest. I think we could soak a Drinking Meter. I'm not even gonna lie. I think there's a shot that we soak a Drinking Meter. So I'm just gonna stick with what I just did there. He's gonna withdraw Tornadus, which is fine. Which is fine. He's going back into Rillaboom. Yep. Rillaboom's gonna come out here. He's gonna end up going for a Snarl, which is not that big of a deal. Who dodged that? Rachel Bolt dodged it. Scorching Sand's gonna fly here. I am minus one here. We're still chunking up some damage, which is solid. Almost picking up the KO, which is huge. We almost get the KO, and we get a burn. We get a burn. Hopefully, two burns can KO it, right? Because at this point, I would just double protect. Full switch doing some nice damage. We're able to pivot out. We are able to pivot out. So from here, I could actually just go into my Choice Scarf Urshifu, but at that point, they would just fake me out. But I'm thinking of just going into maybe Torkoal here. Yeah, I'd rather just save my Earth for especially with the choice. Especially with the choice. So Drought's gonna fly out here. We do have solar power chipping up. Protosynthesis is gonna pop for him. Give him a nice little special attack boost. I mean he could thunderclap now. Solar power actually takes some damage away from me. And okay. We have to get rid of that thing. We have to get rid of Raging Bolt. Grass train helping him survive here. So the burn's gonna chip up, but Grass Terrain is just neutralizing the damage that it's losing. And the grass is actually gone this turn. Um. Huh. What's that play here? Because you could fake me out. Are you gonna fake out the Charizard? Is there a chance you fake out the Charizard? I think there is. I think there's definitely a chance you fake out the Charizard. I hope you fake out the Charizard. The Cover Cloak's massive. If they fake out the Charizard, whoo! We can be sitting good. This is a solid matchup here. Thunderclap is going to fly. KO my Torkoal with the Protosynthesis pop. And Charizard should outspeed Rillaboom all day long. So we should just be able to get rid of this Raging Bolt. Actually going for Grassy Guide here. You're outspeeding me? That's odd. That's odd. How fast are you? I thought this Charizard's decently fast, right? Let me see his Charizard speed. Oh, they got Tailwind up. They have Tailwind up. That's my bad. They got Tailwind. I was going to say, you are rather fast. Probably should just protect it that turn. But the grass terrain's gone. And I get to bring out these guys. So they don't have Tailwind. Their speed's gone. I get Protosynthesis pop onto my Raging Bolt just like them. And I have this Choice Scarf. I definitely want Choice into Wicked Blow, right? Definitely want Choice into Wicked Blow. And how fast is my Raging Bolt? Because I would love to just go for Thunderclap and finish off his Raging Bolt. But if they're faster than me, which kind of looking like they are with how slow this is. We don't want to do that. So from here, we're just going to go for a Snarl, and I'm just going to go for a Wicked Blow. They could drop a Jerk of Meteor into me. They could. Oh, that's looking scary. That's looking real scary. I might just want to go after you. I I think I'm going to go after Raging Bolt. I'm not even going to lie. I think I have to go after Raging Bolt here. Yeah, I'm going to go after Raging Bolt. On top of that, I'm just going to rip a Dragon Pulse into this slot. Withdrawals Raging Bolt. Who are you going into here? You got cooking. You're gonna go into Urshifu. Is this water Urshifu? It is water Urshifu. The Wicked Boy is not gonna do anything crazy. I do have Thunderclap ready to roll though, which is pretty massive. And High Horsepower is gonna come out from you, which does some damage. We should have just stuck with our with our gut play there, right? I mean that actually works. It's just a crazy matchup. It's all around. It's all around the place. It's just all around. So, they still have Tornadus. They still have Raging Bolt. Rillaboom is gone. 
We have our Pokemon. We are choice. They could be choice as well, but he's in the sun. But he's going to go for a... We already know what he's going for. We already know what he's going for. He's going to go for a Rain Dance. And from here, we're just going to keep staying with Wicked Blow. And we're going to go for a Thunderclap here. Looking for a Thunderclap KO. Thunderclap KO would be huge. It'd be huge if we could pick up KO. Because they don't have Terra either. They don't have Terra. So we're still definitely in this match. We're still in this match. They got to be going for a Rain Dance, right? Because if you don't go for a Rain Dance, my Protosynthesis is still on the field. But if you go for a Tailwind at that case, but yeah, they have to be going for Rain Dance. Boosting your damage output. We could be choice as well, but we have to go for Thunderclap in this Urshu slot. It's a must. It's a must. Or they could swap in the Roll Boom. And maybe just protect. But they don't. Thunderclap's gonna come out here. Finish off the Urshu. Finishing off the Urshu. Super surprised at that because now my Urshu outspeeds and Wicked Blow should KO. It should KO, right? Give me a KO. It does. Now we're sitting in a beautiful position. So just when the battle was looking bad, your boy pull, pulls away here. Your boy pulls away. Actually, this could be close. This could be close. Robin comes out here, right? High horsepower. I mean, we just wicked blow it, and they they just turn off their console. Cool. So two and zero, making them turn off their console. Let's go hop into our third and final match. It's time for our final match, and I think we can lead Charizard Torque clear. So I'm going to actually give that a try. We're going up against a Whimsicott team with beat up Terrakion alongside with Indeedee and Iron Crown, and then they got Chi Yu Fluttermane, which is definitely a scary combo. Definitely a scary combo, but I like the lead that we're going to go into here. Charizard and Torkoal, and in the back end, we can bring Urshfu. I think we got to bring Urshfu, and last but not least, could go into Pheasant Dippity, Primarina, or Raging Bolt, but I'm kind of leaning towards Raging Bolt, considering the sun's going to be out here, plus it has the Assault Vest as its item, and we're going up against a few big-time special attackers, such as the Iron Crown, such as the Chiyu, and the Flutter Mame. I think Assault Vest is going to be awesome. It's going to be great for us. Let's see who they end up leading here. I think they, the only way of weather control they have is probably Sunny Day with Whimsicott. That's their, that's their only thing. But they're just going to go beat up Terrakion here, which is, eh, which is okay. It's okay. I could Terrastalize. I could Helping Hand maybe Scorching Sands here. Or I could stick with the Heat Wave, but I'm kind of leaning towards the Helping Hand Scorching Sands play. Because if anything, we're going to see a beat up here. Or, you know what? Mm, Rock Slide is going to fly. Rock Slide's definitely gonna fly. I was gonna say, we could potentially clear smog this. Yeah, okay. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with this play. Let's see how much damage we can actually do. Solar power, terra boost it, super effective, helping hand boost it. Scorching Saints. Look can do some big time damage. We should outspeed Terrakion. Even if not, we terra slice just so we can get up this potential rock slide. We know it's going to be beat up combo here, right? We know it's beat up combo. Unless it's just tail with normal rock slide. Yeah, no, it's beat up. It's beat up all day. So I wanted to kind of clear smog of that, but like after thinking about it, it's like, dude, they're going to go for beat up. They're going to go for rock slide. And if it hits Torkoal, Torkoal's dead. Torkoal's a gone. I'm just hoping my Charizard could actually eat up this rock slide. I think it should, even though it's kind of a light. This is definitely kind of a light. They go for the beat up combo. This thing's plus four on attack. And can you just outspeed Charizard? No. Okay. Rock Slide's gonna fly here, and my boy does survive, which is huge. The Torkoal, yeah, dead. We just want to use Helping Hand. So now from here, can't Scorching Sands KO? Because if it does, it's a pretty big play for us. Definitely is a pretty big play if we can KO here. And we do. So we get rid of Terrakia with Scorching Sands. That's huge. Forcing. Wimps got to probably go for a Tailwind this turn. <clears throat> and I can go into Urshifu with the Choice Scarf. So Urshifu is going to come out here. We could have went into Raging Bolt with Protosynthesis. But they're going to go into Cabalion, which is not bad for us. Considering I could just go for Wicked Blow. They could Terrastalize into Normal if they want. Or not Normal. Water if they want to, which most do. But I think from here he's forced to go into a Tailwind, right? I'm going to hope that my Wicked Blow could just outspeed. Right, because if they go for Tailwind, we still have that Choice Scarf, which is making this thing rather fast. But Iron Crown's pretty fast by itself, let's be honest here. And it might just outspeed me. Being able to go for Expanded Force could be tough news. It could be tough news. But we have Charizard on the field. 
They might have to swap. They might swap Whimscott into Indeedee. Seen Iron Crown on the field. They do. They do. And this is actually this is huge. This is huge. Because if this thing's not Terrasalizing, it's dead. It is dead. And the chance are it's probably Terrasalizing, right? Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. It's definitely Terrasalizing. So Indeedee comes out onto the field. Second terrain is here. He's gonna pop his like, seeds. Gets all that stuff going. And yeah, there's the terror type, which is. Making things 10 times worse for us because we're not going to be able to KO with Wicked Blow. And I believe Iron Crown outspeeds my Charizard. And he's just going to be able to pick up a double KO. It's a little rough for us. That's a little rough for us. And this is looking like this might be game here. Wicked Blow flies. And that's some nice damage, but just not enough. No, Charizard does outspeed. And he picks up the KO. Charizard's the man. Charizard's the man. He just get a crit. I think he just got a crit. No, Charizard goaded. Puts us in a perfect position to win this game. And actually, yeah, no, we won this game. They got Whimsicott and Indeedee. You're not doing enough damage. And now you don't have Terra either. So Charizard coming in clutch. The boy. So why he, this is why Charizard's the goat. The goat. Heat wave now. Wicked blow into this slot. They're probably just going to cancel match. And that was looking a little tough for us for a second. Looking real tough for us. But no, he ends up going for follow me, and that's you're gonna get the same results here. You're gonna get the same results because I get to go for the blow, bop, you gone. Heat wave if you're focus ash, one Scott. We're gonna bring you down to focus ash. That's gonna be game set match. It's gonna be game set match, yo. Charizard killing it. Moonblast actually flying, taking out Charizard. All right, that's fine. That's fine by me. Cause now I just get to bring out the raging bolt with assault vest, with the vest. With the best. I can start snarling it if I want to. I'll probably just keep going for Thunderbolts. Bolts of Thunders. Actually, Thunderclap. Let's be honest here. Is he attacking? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But we're just going to go for Thunderclap. We're just going to go for Wicked Blow. This guy just cancel match. They're not. What are you doing here? Oh my god, you're protected by Psychic Terrain. I forgot. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. There's no way this one's got pulls to come back. Because he's going to kill you on my... He's going to kill my Earth Spear. Hold on. Don't you tell me. Don't you tell me. Do I start snarling here? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Don't you tell me this thing's gonna beat me. I need to slow the pace down. I need to slow the pace down. I need to slow the pace down. That was a dumb move by me. I was just getting ahead of myself. Went for a thunderclap. Hold up. Wait a minute. Moonblast flying here. How much damage is doing? Alright, Vest is definitely helping us out. This special attack drop is going to definitely help us out. Do some nice damage. How many turns are left in terrain? Sunlight does fade, which is a little tough. Photosynthesis is going to wear off. And terrain has one more turn. So we're going to go for a Snarl again this turn. Dropping this thing special attack. And then we can start going for Thunderclaps. Moonblast flying. Cool. So we're soaking rather well now. Rather well, so we're playing this one slow. We're playing this one slow, and now we can start spamming Thunderclap. You're not winning this. He's not gonna win this. I'm not allowing it. So Thunderclap flying through here. This one might KO. If not, we might just need one more. And at this point, I think we should be fine unless you get a crit. Unless you get a crit here. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I told you. We're not allowing it. It's just not happening. That would have been devastating. So we just spam Thunderclap. That is now game, set, match, and they finally canceled the battle. That last Wimbiscot actually gave me a big time scare. I thought it was going to 3-1 sweep us or 1v3 us. That would have been absurd. But Charizard, I should say Solar Power Charizard coming in clutch today, grabbing ourselves a 3-0 perfect record. We had other Pokemon to pair up with it, such as Torkoal. Raging Bolt was phenomenal. Pheasantipity and Urshfu was obviously really, really good. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.